welcome back to another video guys um today i'm going to be showing you guys all my favorite stuff i've got all laying in front of me and i'm really excited to share these things with you most of them i've been using for a really long time some of them are newer products and i'll tell you guys which ones are which and then i'll also try and leave a link in the description of everything if i can find it if not i'll find something that's like super close and leave that for you guys so let's get started oh where do i want to start first thing we're going to talk about is these shoes sandals whatever you want to call them they are the corda sandals these things are my favorite ever i love these shoes i hate wearing shoes most of the time i would rather just wear like flip-flops or sandals flip-flops actually kind of get annoying so i'd rather wear sandals and i got these i think it was two years ago something like that and then i got this pair um for my birthday this year and i really like these because i can wear socks with them because they don't have like a a toe strap like these ones do and yeah they can be cleaned super easily you can just throw them in your washing machine or hand wash them and then you just set them outside in the sun to dry like a whole day or something and then they're clean you can get them wet take them on hikes whenever we go hiking i usually wear them um and then at the beach like they're really easy to just take off and carry they're not like really heavy or anything and they don't get sand all up in them so all right so next thing yoga socks so i found these at walmart it was like two pair for eight dollars but i really wanted like some house slippers i hate having dirt on my feet and we've got like We've got two dogs, and so there's always hair on everything, and it just sticks to my feet when I get sweaty. But I didn't want, like, normal house slippers because those make my feet sweat even more, and then I just feel really gross, so I didn't want those. So I've been wanting to try these for a while, and I love them. I love, 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 love them. And they've got grips on the bottom, too. For the next thing, I have um, this Hara the Label bra, and so... I've got two of these. One of them is actually dirty right now. I should have cleaned it. But they are really, really soft. They are made out of bamboo, so they're a little bit more sustainable. And I honestly, when I wear these, I forget that I'm wearing a bra. Like, it, they are super comfortable and soft to wear. I highly recommend getting one of these. Um, normal bras for me just get, like, really uncomfortable. So I've been wearing, like, bralettes for three years now. And then I found out about this website and was like, I'll try one of those so I got two absolutely love them um, I would recommend getting like a size larger than you think because if you do dry them they shrink quite a bit um, so next time I order some I will but I really really like them so then moving on from clothes I guess like wearable things is gonna be kind of like a segue hair scrunchies I love these hair scrunchies they've got hair off in them um, I love these hair scrunchies I got them from Claire's I think for like six dollars each but when i went they had a three for buy three get three free kind of thing so technically got two for six dollars and i got six of them i don't know where the other two went <laughs> oh well but anyways i absolutely love these they are kind of like big for normal scrunchies like if i put it on my wrist it's like you can see it everywhere but it's okay i don't mind it super soft very comfortable to wear they're not like this one's a little bit looser and this one's like some of them are a little bit tighter and harder to pull but that's okay because it depends on like what hairstyle that I want if I want like a messy messy bun I'll go with something like this but if I want like a, a tighter bun because I'm cleaning I'll go with something like this but love them great buy so the next thing um, is gonna be this makeup remover cloth. My mother-in-law actually got this for me for Christmas a couple years ago, and I love this thing. I have never liked the film that gets left on my face from like face wipes. So when I got this, like all you do is wet it and scrub everything off. It is super simple, and then I just like hang it over my shower Thing to dry and um, I use it in while I'm in the shower sometimes too because like there's a little bit of mascara that stays on my face and when I get in the shower it makes my under eyes like really dark but it gets a lot of the makeup off like it's crazy and then you just throw it in the washing machine with your clothes when it gets like really dirty and comes out 
looking like this. So this is the one that I've used for a couple years now and looks looks great. This is the e.l.f. I guess like zit gel cream something. Or, it doesn't say on it. I don't have the package anymore. But this I've been using since I was 14 maybe. Like I've had this for years. Not the same one obviously. But I've been using this product for a very very long time. I love it. I used to get cystic acne all the time. Found out I'm gluten intolerant. That's why. This would make it go away within like three days otherwise they'd last like at least a week and I have not found a good replacement for this yet um, so I'll be using this for a very long time this one is another elf product it is the clear brow and lash mascara um, I just recently got this probably the beginning of this year but it's like a clear brow gel so it helps keep your eyebrows in place and I really, really, really like that. My eyebrows, like when they get long, they just kind of like do whatever they want to and this helps tame them quite a bit so I don't have to trim them nearly as often. So I do a thin coat before I put on my mascara and then once I put my mascara on, I don't have to use nearly as much. And then for my mascara, I use the Rimmel Scandal Eyes um, mascara. That's the word. Um, I just got a new one because the other one that I had was getting really dried up and old. So the only one that I could find on Amazon came with this um, Scandal Eyes eyeliner too. And I've never used that. But I'll, I'll probably try it since I found it. But that's the only like dual package that I could find. But yeah, love this mascara. I've been using this since I was probably 15 or 16. Um, actually, my, one of my friends, she got it and she tried it and she didn't like it at all. And so we were having a sleepover and I tried it and I was like, my eyelashes are like twice as big as they were before. So I'm going to keep this. Um, so yeah, I've been using that one for a very long time. Trust it. Love it. Great. So the next thing is going to be a perfume. My husband, when he was in his senior year, he went with his school um, on a trip and they went to Europe for two weeks I think it was and they went to a perfume factory in France and he they had like a like a five six save 50 euros or something like that I don't know what it was so he went with one of his friends and like he, they got perfume for their mom and then he got one um, for me I love this perfume guys like I know perfume is like really bad for you and I'm trying to get out of all of like that toxic chemically stuff but I want more of this perfume. I haven't been able to have any of it in the past three years just because it's really expensive but I love it so much. It's Etoile. I don't know, I, I don't speak French, I don't know how to pronounce that but I think it's by Fragonard. Um, there's not much on the label because it was just like a a little bottle that he got me but um, we actually tried to get this for me for Christmas and we ordered the wrong one and I like shipped it back to Amazon and I haven't gotten the, the right one yet just because I keep forgetting about it but anyways I love this perfume I wish I had some of this to wear on my wedding day I would have loved that the next thing is Carmex um, I have tried to use other types of chapsticks like other brands Anything else makes my lips super dry and peel, but Carmex is the only thing that actually like hydrates them and keeps them from being chapped. I don't know what it is, but I have like six tubes like this and then like the little tub things, three of those. I usually keep one in my purse, one in my nightstand, and then one in my bathroom, but these guys I've just got like floating around everywhere. So moving away from like beauty products, gonna be this one, I guess two electronics really quick um, this is the Google home um, I actually got mine for free Spotify was running a deal a couple of months back where if you have like um, a premium account with them or something you can get one for free and I really like it like I think they usually go for 60 or 70 dollars like if you were to buy one don't quote me on that but if I had known like they were that cheap I would have bought one anyways I like it. I like that I can cast to it with my phone or that I, I can just say, 
hey Google, remind me to do this later. And I keep mine in my bedroom because um, I like to listen to music when I'm like cleaning or getting ready for the day or waking up in the morning, this, that, and the other. Super cute. The only thing that I don't like about it though is that it has to stay plugged in and the cord is only like that long. So mm, probably like four feet, something like that. Um, which isn't too big of a problem for me because I don't move it around too much or like try to take it as like a portable speaker if we like go somewhere else. We've got a couple of other speakers that we can take. So it's not too big of a deal, but I do wish that you could like charge it and take it somewhere else if I wanted to take this, I don't know, to a pool or something. But otherwise, it's, it's great. It's cute. I love it. It's perfect for keeping it in my room. So the other electronic that I like is the Faux Memo printer. I'm a very crafty person. Um, I do pen pal letters. Um, I think I've got six pen pals and um, I journal sometimes too. And so this is really, really cute. My parents got this for me for Christmas last year. Um, but what it does is it basically prints like your own stickers. Let me pull one up really quick. So I'll put a screen recording in as I'm doing this, but you go to their app, the Foam Memo app, and then once it loads, um, you can type in like a note or something and print that, or you can go and do um, like a template. They'll have templates of like cute little guys here, to-do lists, um, like a, a quick schedule if you've got something to do, um, a frame of some kind, or you can print your own image. I'm just going to do this one of my cats. Let's see if I can move that. Um, and then you just hit print, um, turn on the little thing, and that little light will turn green when it's on. Um, and then it shows you like a print preview, and then you just click print, connect to the printer itself, print, and then there it goes. Um, this is amazing the only thing I don't like is that it's in black and white but like that's understandable it's not like an ink printer I forget what it's called like a laser jet printer I think it's come in handy a, a lot of the time and so you just get your own little sticker and that one's kind of hard to see but like you know how stickers work the backings come off it's sticky there you go the printer paper stuff like you get rolls I think it's three or four rolls for like $20 on Amazon. Hello, cat. So it's super cheap and then I think, I don't know how much this is. I'll leave all of like the price and links for everything in just in the description um, so that you guys know. But anyways, that's just a really cool product that I like. So the next crafting thing is this um, tape dispenser. Um, I originally started using them. I got them from like Dollar General and it was a dollar, it lasted me a lot longer than I thought it would and then I found out that they had these like refillable ones so you just buy like the little wheel it's kind of hard to explain um, but there's like a little figure eight loop thing and then like the gears and the casing um, stay in one piece but I really really like it you just put it at like a 45 degree angle roll it and tape comes off um, on paper it doesn't work on skin um, but I love this for things that aren't you know, like a, a sticker if I want to like rip off some decorative paper or if I've got something that just is like a cute, you know, decorative thing. I don't really know how else to describe it, but really cute, really simple, very, very helpful. So the last thing for that category is probably going to be my pens and highlighters. I am that girl in college that has like a whole container and array of highlighters and pens. So I have the Midliner like dual tip um, highlighters. My brother-in-law got those for me for Christmas last year and I've been wanting to try them for a very, very long time. I just, again, out of sight, out of mind. I don't think about it when I'm at the store. And then the Paper Mate, my mother-in-law got me this set. Um, but I have used some of these before. I love, 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 love these pens. They write so well they last a long time um they really do so there's that uh what else do i have in here oh yeah 
um, the Sakura 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 Jelly Roll um, white pens. I actually have a black sketchbook, um, and I've tried a couple different white pens, and none of them work nearly as well as this. Um, there are some like metallic paint pens and sharpies that I have that work with it. But again, this is my favorite, and on browns, white looks really cute when you write on it. So again, I use that with pen paling and stuff like that. So the next thing is these glasses. They are blue light filtering, something like that, um, glasses. And so I use these. I had two online classes this semester, and then with COVID happening, all of my classes went online like halfway through the semester. So um, it was a lot of reading on my computer and I got headaches. And so I got these. Um, and then I also use them when I'm editing. So they work really well. Also, they're super cute. Like when I first got them and put them on, my husband was like, next time you get prescription glasses, you've got to get like this kind of style. They are adorable. The only thing I don't like is that like here where it sits on my ears is a little bit far in and just tight but it's not too bad because they're a little bit flexible like most glasses are but super cute super cheap super effective i don't get nearly as many headaches as i did um before i had these love it so the next thing is metal straws um we have a lot of straws in this house like a lot um but i really 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 like the metal ones because i hated ice water and i figured out why because whenever I had it just like in a normal cup and I would take a drink of it, my teeth would like freeze. I'd get a brain freeze for my teeth is what it feels like. And I hated it. So I would not drink ice water until I got these. Like it keeps it very cold and I can drink it just fine. So also I found out that if I have a straw in my cup, um, I drink a lot more water. I will just drink water all day long if I can just... Like I just drink more liquid if I have a straw in my cup of whatever I'm drinking. So there's that. Which leads me to my next one, tumblers. I love tumbler cups. They don't spill nearly as easily. Um, again, has a straw, keeps things cold because they're insulated. Um, I've got a couple of the Starbucks ones um, and then I've got some Cheeky Monkey Coffee Company ones. I don't drink coffee, but my dad owns Cheeky Monkey, and so he has given my sisters and I a couple tumblers, and so we love them, absolutely love them. Also, anything that has like a handle on it, I've got one tumbler that has a handle on it, and I don't know where I got that from. And then my sister has like a hospital cup, so it's like one of those hospital mugs, and it's got a lid, and you can put a straw in on one side, or you can have like a grate on the other side. We've got one of those, we love tumblers. Also, um, my cat, any cup that has liquid in it, she will knock it over. Doesn't matter where in the house it is, doesn't matter if it's glass, plastic, ceramic, I, doesn't matter. She will knock it over. So this helps a lot with that because it doesn't lose all of your drink if she knocks it over. I'm looking at you. She's over there sitting on the table looking at me. Yes, I'm talking about you. Next thing. These boxes, these are just super cute storage boxes. And I get these from Michael's, but I've also seen them at Hobby Lobby. Um, but they've got like all kinds of different designs, super cheap. Um, like this one says happy life on it, so cute. Um, but I've got three I think right now, but I wanna get a lot more. I just don't have like the shelving space to put that many boxes right now. So hopefully one day when I get my craft room, then I'll have a lot more of these. But they've also got this little thing where you can like put a label or thingy in it. But that's one of the other ones that I have. Um, and then I've got another one. I don't know where it's at. I think it's in a drawer buried in some craft stuff. But super cute. Um, super cheap too. I love these. They're great. Um, the next thing is actually my purse. I found this guy on Amazon and he comes in, it comes in a set of like four. So you've got this big purse, like a smaller crossbody bag. It's probably like this big. Um, and then you've got this one, minus the blue that didn't come on it. Um, this guy's like a little clutch. And then you've got like a small like 
wallet that has a couple sleeves in it for like um, cards and stuff. And so it's really cute. It comes in a lot of different colors. And personally, I think the quality for the price is amazing. Like you get basically three purses and a wallet for $40. It, at least it was $40 when I bought it. Um, and then again, it comes in a lot of su super cute colors. I just went with the brown because I'm starting to go with more neutral colors and not so crazy colors. But um, I've got my eye on the pink one gonna be honest with you so when this one breaks which might be a while probably gonna pick up the pink set um super cute love it it's got a lot of different pockets on the inside so like for this one sorry all my stuff is up here you've got two pockets up here and then you've got a pocket like a zipper pocket on the other side and then just like a lot of space between and it does zip shut i just don't ever keep it zipped it's more of a hassle to me and then on the back, it's got a little pocket. I usually keep my keys in here. Um, super cute. And then I think the the smaller like crossbody bag has um, two pockets on the inside. One of them is a zipper, and one of them is just like a sleeve pocket. Um, super cute. Super affordable. Super stylish. Um, so the last thing that is my favorite is my essential oils. Um, I recently started getting into essential oils. My mom, when I was like, I want to say 12 or 13, um, was a representative for doTERRA. Um, and so we used essential oils probably for like a year, maybe a year and a half, something like that. And then she kind of got out of it. Um, and then I have an old friend who I followed on Instagram. And she is a rep with Young Living and got me into Young Living essential oils. So this is only a portion of what I have like up here on the mantle you can't see it but I've got a diffuser and then like um, a container of some oils down here and then I've got more on um, my bookshelf in my bedroom on my nightstand I've got in my purse I've got this cute little um, roller holder Oop. Um, from Baggage & Co and I love using essential oils personally for me I think that they help with a lot of things. They work, if nothing else, they smell good. And it's just a more natural way for me to wear something that smells good throughout the day and keep me happy. Um, but like a lot of the blends, like the Thieves, the Clary Sage, a um, couple of other ones in here, like Cedarwood and Lavender are really good to roll on um, before you go to bed. It helps you fall asleep and feel more calm. Um, and you've probably heard of people using lavender oil for a lot of different things. So there's quite a, th a few things that you can do with this. I'm starting to use these like, I was already using them every day, but now I'm using them more every single day because I'm, I'm starting to get more. Um, and I recently got a second diffuser, so I put the one that I had downstairs in the living room and then I put the bigger one in my room because I use it a lot more. But I've made like a face serum, a hair, like mermaid hairspray, so that's why it gets like wavy and it smells good too. I've got all different types of rollers. I've got, I think, two perfumes that I made. Um, so quite a, a few different things that we use it for and going along with that more natural, chemical-free lifestyle. I know that all of the things that in this video like a lot of the makeup stuff were still chemically, but I'm just waiting until I find like a more natural replacement for those. So anyways, yep, okay. So that is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and if you guys wanna try any of the products, just use the link down below or Google it. Links aren't attached to anything. I won't make a profit off of anything. Um, and this video is not sponsored by any of these companies or products. Um, this is my honest thoughts of things that I've been using and absolutely just love so hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you guys next time bye hello cat are you done pooping <laughs> <laughs> oh, my cat loves socks and she just tried to take off with my i'm gonna put them on